right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Big kick. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Straight punch lands. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. And that left hook landed on the button. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Joy gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Solid strike on the ground. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down the opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this he better start to move and when his opponent starts to posture he needs to put his feet on the hip push him away to try to escape this very very dangerous position swing and a miss with that punch by short oh big head kick take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. And they separate. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. 20 seconds to go. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Take a deep breath and relax. Let's clear the 
cobwebs. You got rocked that last round, but you're fine. This round, let's get on your bicycle. Use the... You ready? You ready? Round two is underway. Oh, big punch land. That was a thudding leg kick. Checks that leg kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strike. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. He made good use of it there with that punch, DC. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Nice kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Try to establish that jab. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Tight to behold. Yeah, that one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Oh, nice. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice take on All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Choi. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Choi going for the takedown, he misses. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his right. corner. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. That's a big strike right there. Got him whip his hip into that kick. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Oh, nice. My flush right hand is true. Got the singles holler tie. Beautiful strike. 
Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Look at the flip action that comes from him throwing that kick. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into it. Very important for him to start tossing that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Beautiful kick. There's no kill on that leg kick. It's there, take down. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. The Korean Superboy gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Good stick. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that All right, so high two double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular... Punch right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Choi gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and then slide over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right 